You might have to go straight to the airport. I don't have no luggage. Well, somebody can send your luggage. But then I'm going to have to wait for four days before I get all my stuff. Thank well, you. it's either that or you're going to probably miss your flight. We just felt like we can continue on as a trio, and that's what we're doing. So hi guys, for today's video, I'm going to be creating a wig. And this wig is no ordinary wig. This is a Beyonce wig. And Beyonce is ugliest wig at like that. So let's get into it. And let me tell you, don't you dare come in my comment sections defending Beyonce. Don't you dare come in my comment sections defending this wig. Because if you do defend it, it shows the type of person that you are. Let me tell you who you are. You're the type of person who will allow their friend to look a mess. And you'll be like, yeah, you look cute, girl. But you know they look a mess just so it makes you feel cuter and it makes you stand out that's the type of person that you are you're evil there's no way to defend this wig it's ugly and that's why it's right on my alley cuz mmm anyways we have all of our products that we'll need for this wig so let me get into what products I have so the first product we have is a plastic bag and the reason that we need a plastic bag is because the last time I did my hair the wig got stuck to my actual hair I glued the wig cap to my hair Then we have super hair bond glue. So my mom came to my house and I spent the day with her and she did my hair so I continued the video the next day. Okay, it's day two. Uh, my mom came to see me and I stopped filming just to spend a day with her. And she did me here because I told her that I was going to make a wig. So now the wig is going to sit flat and nice on my head. So like I said, we have the wig cap and then we have the weave. And like I said, this is no ordinary weave. This is premium to mid multi-curl European. What the fuck? Never in a million years have I heard about European weave. Caucasian here. I never knew what people made here. European weave. So this is human here. Human white person here. <gasps> European weave. I thought only like Malaysians and Indians and Brazilians and Peruvians and all that shit made here. This is European weave. They're gonna say that we're cultural appropriating because I'm wearing European weave. <gasps> I feel like I'm starting something. Okay, now I never touch a white person's hair. Well, I touch my best friend's hair, she's white. So yeah, we go see how the hair feels and we go see if it feels like hers. It feels just like hers. I can't tell if it's because her hair is badly damaged from the bleach that it feels like dry like hers, but it feels just like hers. I bought this for only $10, y'all. It's human. White person here. I literally have white person here right now. Like, anyways, we're gonna get right into making the here so for this video because i have nothing better to do i was saying that i was gonna make the wig and talk about some topics that i've been thinking about and just voicing my opinions you know clearing up some things some rumors so yeah we're gonna get right into it blood, 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 blood clot. so the first step is that we're gonna take the wig cap and then we're gonna put it over the head so that we can lay the hair on the head so the first rumor that i like to clear is me being a trump supporter and a lot of people be speculating that i was a trump supporter because i was bopping to a song wait what are you doing yo Can't yo we... yo yo you forgot to put a plastic bag plastic bag you forgot to put a plastic bag you forgot to put a plastic bag plastic bag And people were speculating that I was a Trump supporter because I was vibing to a song. Real women vote for Trump. We don't need no liberal Trump. Yeah, real women vote for Trump. Yup, I was dancing to that song. It was undeniably a bop. Bitches were trying to get him ass for being a Trump supporter. Baby girl, I'm not even American. You think I'm gonna care about American politics enough to vote for Trump? And bitches and witches are hexing Trump supporters as we speak. You think they wanna get hexed? Life is already hard. Blood clot! Like, I believe in separating the artists from their work. And quite frankly, I can't even do that with Trump because his merch. No way. It's very tacky. Like, from the type of red that he used on the merch to the Helvetica font that he used for Make America Great Again. The, the merch is tacky. Like, I can't even, like, buy it if I really wanted to. So, yeah. Then that thought of me, you know, supporting Trump. And speaking about separating the artists from their music, like, bitches support 6 9 and he said, nigga. I forgot it was a black. 
Bitches support 6 9 and he says the N-word for every break of the song and I can't dance to a song about women voting for Trump. Really? Like, come on, get real. Like I said, I like the song. It made me move. It was a bop. Blood, 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 blood clot! Okay, so as we can see, for the Beyonce wig, the blonde comes on the top and then below it, it has this brown. And then it have this like crafting scissors moment going on, like a baby bang, a Melanie Martinez bang, something going on right here. So yeah. We all get into that and we will start. So yeah, we're just gonna squeeze the glue on here. Yes, all right. And yeah, we're gonna spread the glue all over. Yeah, we stick and then we add pressure to it. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, honestly, we could easily ignore the roots. Like, the roots are something that you could ignore. We could just call this a black roots moment. Like, just ignore the fact that all the glue is just stuck there. Blood, 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 blood. Shred homophobic men. My thing is, is that if you're straight, would you not be thinking about girls and pussy? Like, why are you letting man on man activity live inside your head rent free? Huh? Why are you letting ass eating activity live in your head rent free? Huh? Booty munching activity living your head right free, huh? Let's talk about that. We got all this pussy in the world. Are you letting a man on man activity taking a cabinet space in your head? You bitches are gay! Period! That's all I gotta say. Alright, I see you. We got a Robin Fenty moment going on. We got a Rihanna rated R moment going on. Yeah, the shaved with a to the side, period. Yes. We got a Mary J. Blige. <laughs> this is hot. This is hot. Blood, 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 blood clot! We need a word for gay coons. Now, when I say gay coons, I'm talking about the gays that will do anything and go through anything for heterosexual male attraction. Like, these heteros can really come in here and tell a gay, usually I hear these faggy, sissy queers, punks, anal assassin, booty munching, abomination, batty boy, but... I like you though because you're different. Yeah, you're not like them. And then you got these sissy queers out here like, <laughs> thank you, I get that a lot. I mean, thanks bro, I get it a lot. Like bitch, you're weird. You're weird. You're weird. You're really weird. Like it's almost like a white person saying, usually I hear these black monkey ghetto hood rat negroids, but you, you're not like them because you speak proper English. You know, like you're not like them because you know, you're normal. Bitch, what? Who takes a compliment like that? I would hope that a black person wouldn't take a compliment like that because like, what? You're weird. You're weird. 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 You're weird. Like, weird. In conclusion, I think that these gays should just do a lot better with who they like choose to put in their circle and the type of people that they like put around them because like, honestly, like, it's not a compliment. <laughs> There's one thing that bothers me on TikTok more than anything in the world. And you know what it is? It's a like for part two motherfucking ass bitch. Like, I really hit a like for part two ass bitch. Like, you really get out here on Albert Einstein's internet or whoever created the internet. You really get out here on dear internet and go tell me someone you never met in your life like for part two. Really? Like, the whole like for part two come back for part two thing is like the most inconvenient thing a creator on TikTok could ever do. Because like honestly like when stuff come around on my for you page it may come around my for you page like two months after and if i go to your page looking for part two i can't find it because your page is filled with like for part two ass content and i have to scroll through all of that shit just to find the part two to the video that i was watching and it's very inconvenient you know what i'm saying I just think that it's very unnecessary to have like for part two content in a video that could be concluded into one minute. Like you'll have like a 30 second video that's gonna be like, okay, well he murdered his wife, come back for part two. And then part two's like eight seconds, like are you kidding me? <laughs> I really think it's all necessary to go on this Dora the Explorer adventure, Blue's Clues adventure, Scooby Doo adventure just to find part two to a video that was on my For You page. A three month old video that was on my For You page randomly. Did you find part two?
I just hate how we allow cute dudes to get on Albert Einstein's internet and make head ass videos. Like, I don't know who made these males believe that they could sing, but y'all need to stop getting on TikTok and singing. You know, stick to looking cute behind that ring light, okay? So some random girl, probably 12, will comment, you should sing more hard eyes drooly face. And then they'll reply to that comment in a video. You think I should sing more? <laughs> Baby, you look so good when your boobs touch your fupa When your hips go like la 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 Baby, you look so good when your weave touch your fat ass That ass be jiggling Yeah, 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 yeah <sighs> Yeah, that was for you, baby girl Have a good night Like, you look stupid Get off Albert Einstein's internet Get off Albert Einstein's internet. Okay, you're not Trey Songs, you're not Neo. You might be T Pin before the auto tune, but bitch, you are none of that. Okay, so stop. Like all this, like that y'all be doing, bitch. That shit was whack. Okay, it was whack. So whatever wetness that was obtained down there, it went right back up. Dry pussy energy, desert coochie. So yeah, you singing is not sexy. Oh my god! Sasha fucking fierce! I look so. I sent one of my friends a picture of me and my wig. Girl, it's something a little like Nini Leaks. I thought it looked like Beyonce. Okay, so I'm cutting the bangs right now and I'm gonna finish this tomorrow because my vibe was killed. My feelings are hurt. I don't think that I have enough confidence to come back from that one. I don't care anymore. Okay, so here's a part that makes this wig a wig. Let's do it. Okay, so I'll be back tomorrow and tomorrow we'll be finishing the rest. So now it's just time to take off the wig. What the fuck? <gasps> it is stuck to my head. I know you're lying. I know you're lying. No, no, no. Hey, at least I still got edges though. Like honestly, this one piece is stuck right here and I just want to rip it out like it's a fight. I just want to <laughs> rip it out like, oh my God, it's coming out, it's coming out, it's coming out. Oh my god. Is that a boss spot? Like, honestly, I blame Jay Z, Beyonce, and the Illuminati. You bitches are in the Illuminati. You did this to me. Oh my god. Blood, 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 blood clot! I ain't gonna forget this time. This is going on my head. I don't care. Y'all, look at the top of the wig. Look at the top of the wig. Look how dirty it is. And like, honestly, after that, like, glue got stuck to my head. I really don't understand how girls get glue wings and then go and fight. Ripping that shit, it was ripping my soul out. I can't. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like, how do you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Damn, I could have swore I had more bundles in this bitch. Like, where the fuck the bundles went? Blood, 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 blood clot! We need to start holding gears accountable for transphobia. Yeah, I said it. We need to hold gays accountable for transphobia because gays and trans, we are not the same, okay? I mean, we might go through similar struggles, but we are not the same. And when I say we are not the same, I'm saying that you cannot say slurs that apply to trans people because you are not trans, okay? Like, I really don't understand why a lot of people allow the gays to have that T word pass, and it's kind of weird to me. And you know, it goes deeper than just saying slurs, it goes with dry someone's appearance like you can drag someone's appearance 
without dragging someone's appearance. And let me explain what that means. Something that I've realized when gays drag tea girls about their appearance is that they'll never drag them about simple shit like, you know, a bad weave, you know, a crooked eyelash, you know, wrinkly clothing, you know, something like that. Like, they'll never drag them about shit like that, like, not even their personality. So, like, they'll go for weak ass clapbacks, like, you strong neck bitch, yeah, you manly looking bitch, yeah, you deep voice bitch, five o'clock shadow face bitch, you know, shit like that. It's like weird. And it's like, these are things that T girls have gender dysphoria about. And I think that the only reason why you drag them about that because you know it's fucking hurtful. And it's weird to me that you would actually go to that extent to drag someone or something like that. When you get heated and you feel the need to drag, there's a lot of things that you could drag people about. Like, I'm just saying, like, you don't have to call people out their dead name. You don't have to talk about someone's appearance, you know, something that makes them insecure, like being, you know, buffer or shit like that. <laughs> Okay, she's looking a little full, looking a little fresh. Let's see the back, let's see the back. All right, oh my God. Yes. Did I miss the back? I thought I did the back, hold on. Blood clot! I pretty much spoke about everything that I had to get off my chest. I mean, like, there's one thing that I'm thinking about, like, I remember the time I made Twitter, like, what a disaster, because that was, like, my page, where I just, like, word vomit all the time, and go absent for a week because I was ashamed of the shit that I said. Like, one time I said I would like to chew on someone's foreskin like it was some gum, because that seems fun, and then I started doing a face that I would make, I was like... That's when I deleted Twitter, that's when I was like, okay, Twitter is just... Twitter is just... Twitter doesn't have enough restrictions for me to actually be human. Oh my god! I don't like that girl from The Ring! Yo, die in seven days. <laughs> Sorry. I look like me! And you look like you! Boy... <laughs> quick because I know oh my god you bitches are dumb you bitches are dumb clueless delusional that's what it is to think that I would ever get on Albert Einstein's internet I look a mess I really pulled this shit off like okay who worked better me or Beyonce I'll wait <laughs> actually I'm not gonna wait because we all know what the answer is sorry miss thing I ate you up okay let me just say that the topic is Yonce. The topic is Beyonce. Okay. That's what it is. That's what it's given. It's given Sasha Fierce. Okay. Ugly asshole, I should take you to the zoo. She better answer. She better motherfucking answer, bitch. She better answer, bitch. On me. All right. You see? The banks? What about it? Oh my god, they're so pretty! You so fucking fit, You're bitch! So You're so fit! This is the Beyonce oh bag that I created. Did you not remember? That's a look. No, but I was showing you, I made a Beyonce wig. I was asking for your opinion. <laughs> you know the Beyonce with the bangs? Yes! <laughs> That's it! How do, you, how do you feel about it? Well, I'm deciding. You look good. I do? I know you fucking lying, bitch. Beyonce. Beyonce. How do you feel about it? <laughs> Three. No, do you not know? Like, look at the bangs. It's the Beyonce wig that had the bangs. I saw. I, that's what it. That's what it reminded me of when I first saw it. Oh my god, you got the vibe. Oh my god, I look just like her then. <laughs> Bad, 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 bitch. He eat this pussy like bacon and salt fish. Use his saliva, wash this dish. Clean, freakish, devil-ish. Ice, ice, ice on my body, dripping. My beauty so real and my style is new. I look like me. And you look like you. Ugly asshole, I should take you to the zoo.